Hello, 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 and welcome to the next match of the ICGC 2011. And this is going to be between Arundai and Gundui. It's actually the first matchup between a Z versus a T. And let's see what the Z, who happens to be the fifth rank player in India, plays against the 10th ranked Terran. As you can see, that at the red Terran is at the top 11 o'clock position, and the cute green zerg is at the bottom right now this being the first of the icgc big matchups i'd really like to go and give a shout out to razor who happens to be doing such great work for us all the time and this is something which uh, we couldn't have done without shashank's help as you can see that uh, the initial production is uh, going as as standard as it can be it's not really special during this time i think we all know uh, there's literally nothing much that can come in between the first two to three minutes. Uh, interestingly, one SCV builds and the other one scouts. As you can see, the drone also is scouting and is going to scout a little faster. And I think both of them are going in good positions. And let's see what's they're going to say hi in the middle. And uh, they've just crossed each other. I think Gundui is going to scout wrong and go to the top right, while Iron is going to go scout straight in and see where the Zerg base is. I think he's seen that, uh, he's found that out, and I think he should go harass that SCV. Let's see if Gundui sends a support SCV, which I think he's still not sent. And there comes the support SCV to go try and... Oh, that's a nice swap. Uh, the, the drone says, um, I'm confused. And, and here comes the third supporting SCV for uh, for Iron. Uh, no, for Gundui, who scares the little probe drone away. The drone is going to be scouting. There's gas which has gone in first. Uh, the pool should be about to finish, and that's about the time that Gundui goes and searches and scouts for the base. He should see that this is all good. There's gas already on its way. And Gundu is just standing there and saying, do 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 that's his good. He sees what he needs to see, and I think he should be moving back. Uh, there is one Marine which should come out, which should deny any further scouting for uh, our dear Zerg. Zerg then says, hey, this is a good time for me to go and, cert and move forward on my upgrades, and Zergling speed s uh, kicks in. He's not really taken the drones off gas, so he should still have some gas production which is going. Uh, two Zerglings are on the field and they sh they're routed and they should be going and looking around and seeing nothing untoward happen. Uh, the Overlord's actually placed well. It's just standing in the top left to see that there is no jinky expansions and the Zerg, as nearly all Zergs do, happens to go for a baneling nest. And uh, this is because the front of the base for Gundui is slightly weak. But whether the Zerg, which is Aaron, has enough of a micro game to go and make sure that he can bust the ramp, it will be seen. Uh, second gas is going down, and uh, there's a factory coming up. The, it's a good scout by the two Zerglings. They're sufficiently standing outside, and the Baneling Nest should be finished. If he can go ahead and convert these two guys into... Oh, there come another four, but there. I think this is just four plus two, plus two, six. Oh, no, no. He loses the first two, and he's probably going to lose another two. He's gone. He's lost four of his, uh, bane, first of four of his potential bane links. Another one goes down. Now he has only three, and I don't think that's going to be sufficient, and these guys are not moving. I think uh, seeing this, the Zerg's going to go and basically move back and expand and go into another hatchery and while looking at this the, the Terran is actually pushing out right now and that's that's a decently sized army so there is one oh he's gonna go down really fast uh, this is one hellion one two three four five five of six of these guys that's that's sizably strong and let's see how that responds from the Zerg is going to be because he just has three, four, five, six Zerglings. Uh, he is countering how he should with a Roach Warren, but on the other hand, uh, Blue Flame Hellions all in is coming here, 
and that Hellion might be able to do mega mega damage and then he comes in and there is nothing really ready oh my god if he blocks this this is this is indeed nearly blocked let's see what's going to happen in this matchup so there are enough zerglings in there to go ahead and wrap that up but the blue flame hellion's nearly done oh that's a good that's a good cover that's a good cover and i think he should be able to scout that and that is all denied that's that's good work by the zerg and by this time the factory is ready and then expansions coming in from gundui and there you see a swap happening between the factory and the the barracks and the barracks should take up the main and there there are those because the blue flame hellions nearly done there comes in two more hellions to come and to start harassing and start working on the mineral line a good scouts coming in but let's see whether the scout can actually reveal anything of substance uh you also see that the oh he's i think he's seen enough i think the zerg sees the expansion coming he sees oh he should be able to see that there's blue flame hellions the barracks has nearly not landed uh but these are these are a lot there's four roaches uh against four of these but these are lots of weak zerglings standing there i don't know how that match up is going to be they're going to go ahead and expose each other's strengths right now there come they there they go 2 3 4 yeah they should be able to take that out and there he goes oh that's a good win for the zerg and he should be able to go and push forward and let's see what the zerg uh, with what what the terran can respond to this the zerglings are standing oh mega damage the zerglings go all go down he has nothing to surround anything all the 10 zerglings go down and now he has only four roaches i don't think oh the but roaches are just pouring in another four nothing but the tanks here if he cannot if he can snipe the tank he's fine if he can't the scvs are supporting i don't think he's sniping the scvs too fast he really needs to move all oh, he's pulled all scvs to go ahead and protect that one tank if he doesn't go ahead and save that tank it's all he's all gone but he saved that tank the tank is like a major major force in this he's taking down everything another two go down another two go down that's the next line of tanks is actually going and sieging sieging on the high ground no this is all going so bad for the zerg i think he needs to pull back he needs to pull back right now he's going to lose all of these forces and he does decide to finally pull back but no that's going to go down he's lost a major force of his army you see that there's a 54 zerg versus a 54 terran versus a 40 uh uh zerg and that's never a good situation the zerg is now going and droning up and all he has is one roach vis-a-vis three tanks and one hellion and that is never good uh, even the roach uh, the zerg is even behind on the um uh, the harvest account and here comes four blue flame hellions to go ahead and for drive the final nail into the coffin of r&d i don't know whether he'll be able to do that, that or not it's nice he went and checked the expansion but i don't think this is going to be too good straight into the back line there it goes one shot two gone another shot another three gone another five gone another six gone i don't think this is going well for the zerg at all oh my god this is just so uh, the queen's trying to save her little drones as much as she can but nine workers killed versus zero 48 army versus 20 this is not good this is not good at all i think the the terran has a major economic and military lead right now and uh, let's see whether he he'll squeeze this out or go and attack there are there is now some army that is available uh 25 army versus 17 and 45 worker, workers versus 40 but i don't think this is going the way that the zerg really wanted it to go back economically back um uh in army uh, this is uh, that marine uh, that barracks is not really landed the terrans now expanding into his third and that should be oh god and thors are incoming vehicle level 2 is incoming and i think hydrolists are coming in but i don't know whether hydrolists is the right answer to go in this situation i don't know what is the right answer to go in this what do you guys think but this is this is getting like to be too big an economic advantage uh, for um the terran over and no oh god this is not going well i know the zerg is going in droning up but this is this is this is weak let's see what final the zerg's actually done the one thing he should have done 
a lot earlier he is expanded but i think the expansions actually in the middle and much more accessible to the zelnaga and the zelnaga can go and, and scout that really easily whereas the terrans third is actually in a nook on the left well that barracks i think is paying for itself because the the, the zerg's not really gone for any air units and that entire air scout is really good because it's just given him technically a free zelnaga up in the ground here here comes the matchup uh Oh God! There, there goes the Hellions. They're, they're straight into the back line. Uh, the worker supply is 57 to 60. They're just falling away like pieces. 58 to 60, 58 to 58, 58 to 55, and oh God! This is just major. 58 to 50, 58 to 40, and all these workers have gone down. I'm sorry, I couldn't look at that at that situation, but uh, you could see them on the r bottom right. And that is going to go down, but this is this is this is near DGG. There is no production, and here comes the final nail in the coffin. I can see. <laughs> He's so well. Well, the gold patch is actually here, so in the PTR, and the blue flame hellions are actually getting nerfed substantially. Uh, the Terran actually just seen that and gone and double expanded into his fourth and his fifth. And this is just going to be just, oh god, this is just insane, insane number of units. Uh, the, <laughs> the barracks is just standing and scouting everything. The poor queens is going to haul everything back there, but I don't know what the Zerg can do. He's just standing there and trying to go ahead and make sure he can kill stuff. But here comes the big total push from... Uh, the Terran, I, this is just going to be just too heavy. I think it's just bringing in those SCPs. And that seems really interesting. I've seen a lot of Terrans at high levels do that. Uh, those those SCVs with a mech army can, are pretty much buffed up healers. The Terran is getting denied in that expansion. But, oh, the, the SCVs are going to go down. SCVs are going to go down. Oh, but these SCVs are just the dummy SCVs. They just stand in front. And they have now been all microed on that one. Oh, no, he can't, they can't protect that one. But let's see if they can protect the next one. And yes, they can. This is where they're going and showing their Uber skills. They've taken down the whole army. The hatch goes down. And there is just one, two, three lines of defense which are just standing here. There's two roaches. And this in entire army for the Zerg has just melted away in this big mech push. Twelve tanks, three Thors. Oh god, and there are three more Thors coming in. This is just going to be siege with siege with siege. A nice scan goes down, but all the units are just melting away. There's nothing which can stand below a siege line of tanks and a front line of Thors. I think Iron realizes that too. I think he's just going to do one last push to go. <laughs> There's some SCVs coming down. And a Hellion. Another Hellion. More Thors. There's three Thors. Oh my god. This is just so many factories that are coming in. Uh, and there goes the final push. And let's see how long this will last. I don't think this can go on much longer. I think they all just want to take off one. One guy. The little tank at the back can't do anything much. And here come more Thors, and here comes the probes. The probes can't do anything. And there's the GG, and that's about it, man. That's it.